Morning, all. <laughs> morning, morning, Lauren. Can Hello. you hear me okay? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, all good. Um, awesome. Bit jittery. What we call potato, in bit potato internet-y on your face. It's a bit sporadic, oh, really? but we can hear you. So, yeah, but we can hear you perfectly clearly. So thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, just in case anybody's wondering why we were running a little bit late, <laughs> Lauren was just on a phone call to a coach, and um, I... We have to go live, otherwise Facebook kicks us off. So I was Is getting right? like okay. torn. Yeah, if you don't if you don't go by, start by a certain time, it'll kick us off. So I had to go live, and just as we went live, and I hit the thirty second countdown, you popped up in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. Okay. Hello, I, I've not spoken to Lauren properly, I, other than uh, Messenger over uh, on Facebook. Um, so nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice time. to meet you too. <laughs> Um, lots of people are very excited to see you. We've got lots of people joining us this morning, viewing us over here in the UK. So it's obviously just after, what time is it now? Uh, nearly 20 to 9 in the UK, which I think is 20 to 8 is in it? Sydney. Is that right? That's right. It is 20 to yeah. 8 in Sydney. The sun is still shining. <laughs> it's been snowing here. It's been snowing. Yeah, it's been snowing. And so it's, uh, yeah, it's very cold. I'm freezing. I'm freezing right now. Right. So where do we start? <laughs> Everybody's saying good morning, the usual viewers and watchers, people watching across both channels. Hello to everyone that's saying hello. I will try and pay attention to the comments if I can in certain places, but obviously I would like to talk to Lauren primarily. So, and yeah, and basically the reason why we brought you on, because we're all very excited, especially over here in the UK, because we can't park run right now, that uh, you did something very special on Australian Saturday can morning. I just Danny? Oh, did I cut out? Oh, okay. It's the, uh, I think the reception is pretty I'm still strong. Here. Can you hear me? It's all going to go a bit wrong this morning, isn't oh, it? Oh, no. I can hear you okay. I think it might be where you are. Is there, any, is there any ability for you to move about the house? I've got full signal where I am, but let me try anyway, just in case. Yeah, I will the, viewers are, the viewers are saying that you've got the potato internet. The signal's a bit dodge, um, but they can hear me okay. We'll get to go have a look around your house whilst we're at it. <laughs> Got to be near the Wi-Fi modem. Yeah. And if people are listening properly and clearly, they can hear a bit of a Scottish twang in your voice. Is that correct? That is correct. There's a Scottish twang. I'm sitting in my bedroom wardrobe where the Wi-Fi router is, so I hope that it's right. better. <laughs> okay. Super. Well, fingers crossed it holds up. You never know. My internet could suddenly go at any moment. If it does, I drop out. Hang on in now. Come back. I think it's all a bit of a okay. challenge for me this morning. But it's a bit of a all the fun of the fair, as it were. So everyone is saying yeah. congratulations to you. I want to ah. bring up a couple of congratulations to your for your record, the world record. Uh, there, Al Garnet is there, and Ingrid Botha. Congratulations, Lauren. Amazing effort. We've got a bunch of Australian people watching too. So we have a lot of your. Oh countrymen are there with you and uh, giving you big old shouts so where do we start athlete id number so 2088118 you've done quite a few park runs in your time so i've got yeah. 22, 22 park runs i've got your list up on the page at the moment started at curl curl done edinburgh and then had a smash at Parramatta. tell us a little bit about that well uh so curl curl's my local park run it is um just next to my house actually um, so that's the one I will have done the most of. Um, I love that one. Scotland, I did that one. I came back to visit the family in Edinburgh, which is a brilliant course. It's really good. That would be good for a fast a fast race, actually. Um, and then Parramatta was the choice for the world record. Um, I didn't pick it. They, uh, some of my running buddies picked that one for me. And um, it's a good course. It's a little bit... Um, it's got a couple of little hills at the end there but other than that yeah it's a nice out and back course and the people mm -hmm. that organize that park run are amazing they're so yeah. lovely so friendly um and they were super supportive on saturday so there was lots of cheering and clapping and there was even some cake <laughs> <laughs> as is always the case often the case of park runs yeah especially yeah. don't go there too often because it won't do very good for your athletic uh, figure now i need to admit that on saturday our time in the uk that we we go live every day basically at the moment in our lockdown and we had a sneak we had a little sneaky peek at your strava and so if i bring this up this should show that we had a little check it out and we were looking at all your pacing and everything and so if i have a little <laughs> zoom in 
we were analyzing a fast first kilometer 250 309 306 318 315 so of course you said that there at the end that it's not super flat there's a little bit of hills if you i'm putting words in your mouth but if you think perhaps you're on the edinburgh course running at the the pace that you did you think you could have gone a little faster yeah definitely yeah okay yeah, yeah the edinburgh super. course i'm talking about is is wonderful it goes along uh cram and um yeah. I've done it myself. I've been before. there. Yeah. And it's just dead flat. It's got one turn around at halfway and it's a nice wide U turn. Yeah. Um, when I ran it, I it was only seven, eight months post having had my baby. So mm -hmm. I couldn't give it a, a real, I couldn't give it like a really good shot. But um, I would love to go back in. I reckon I could nudge another 10 or 15 seconds off that time. It was also 32 degrees uh, the day that I ran it. Oh, no, maybe 30. Um, so I think if I got a cold day, which you're almost guaranteed to get in Scotland, uh, and a flat course, I reckon I could get a little bit of time off that um, that time. Super, so. super. Now, you mentioned your daughter. Now, I've done a bit, again, I've been doing a bit of research. So I'm going to shock you here about all this information that I know about, because everybody's been burrowing deep and finding information about you, because it's rippled throughout Park Ground World. And people, like I say, we're very excited to have these things going on while we can't do it. So your daughter, Ruby, is two years old. Is that right? Yeah, she just turned two last month before Christmas. Super. And, yeah. of course, your, hu and your hubby, Matt. Yes, my husband, Matt, he... Um... He's in the lounge room eating dinner, actually, at the moment. <laughs> they were there on Saturday, so they were they were cheering me on there at most of my runs, actually. So the further thing that I saw in your Strava account is that there were loads of people there because you're a Sydney Strider. And on the Strava account, you can link all the runs together. So you can people who've run with you and you were paced. You had your paces with you and everybody's title in there is like world record run, world record run. They were so excited for you. You can see that in the Strava. So it must have been a, just a, an amazing feeling and accomplishment that morning. Honestly, it was it was absolutely amazing. I um, I put up a post on social media last night, so Sunday night, um, once I've had some time to reflect. And the thing that I kind of wanted to emphasize in the post was just that fit that like sense of um, community and positivity um, and how just like how inclusive park run is like it doesn't matter who you are or how fast you run like everyone is just super excited that you're all together and having a crack um, yeah. it was the best feeling like record whether I got the record or I didn't get the record I would have just mm -hmm. been happy to be there it was brilliant mm -hmm. That's fantastic yeah. to hear, you know, absolutely. Because we are, we're all very conscious about the inclusivity about things and appreciating everybody's effort. But when a little thing like this does happen, it, it just gives a little bit of a spark. And forgive yeah. me for saying, if anybody's watching, you can say in the comments if I get it wrong, I think there's a lady called uh, Rosemary Rodigo or something who also ran like a very high age grading as well. And it's that's the thing, anybody can turn up of any age, any ability and just perform at, in any yeah. particular fashion and way. So uh, just amazing. So. Uh, again, more information on you, a little bit of research, if you're wondering. So I was thinking, do you have Olympic ambitions? I didn't get to ask this beforehand. Uh, is there Olympic stuff on the horizon for you with the, with the form that you're in? Uh, <laughs> that's uh, So I'm aiming for the Olympic trials is, um, I guess, what I'd want to put out there publicly. Um, mm -hmm. But of course, of course, there's always that hope that, I ran a qualifying time, um, but at this point, we're just trying to get me to the Australian National Championship, so that doubles up as our um, Olympic selection trials. So that's that's the aim at the moment, um, and I'm I am slowly chipping away at that time, getting a little bit closer. It's not over five thousand meters; that's far too far for me. I um, I specialize in eight hundred and fifteen hundred, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm a little bit older than the average punter on the track, but um, I came into running a bit later and um, yeah, it's working for me. I'm not getting slower yet, so I'm going to gonna try my best to get the Olympic qualifier and who knows? Am I allowed, to mention, am I allowed to mention your age? Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, okay. So it's 30, you're 35, is that right? So you've just gone into that 35, 39 bracket. Joe Pavey, yeah. the Brit, she's, she was running brilliantly, still does run brilliantly, but she ran fantastically well, all the way up to 40 years old and above. But your range, I need to point this out, because you mentioned 800 and 1500 metres there. Your range is fantastic. Was it 203 for 800 metres? And your 1500 metre time, was it 4, forgive me, 414 or something, super swift? And um, your half... 412. Sorry, yes, no, I, I appreciate the fact that those seconds are very important. I'm like that myself. They are very important. <laughs> they are. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I should have written that down. And then 72-minute half marathon PB. You won the, the Nagoya City Half in 2018. Your, was it was at New South Wales, 10,000 metre champs, I think, last year. So your range is uh, just outstanding. So Yeah, yeah it's I, a little bit unique. Um it is, yeah, it, it is unique. I guess I, I really did start quite late. Like my first um, her proper track race was not until 2017, um, mm -hmm. the end of, so this, December actually, 2017. And then exactly a year later, um, I had my baby. So I had my baby the, uh, December 2018. So it was a short and sharp entry into track racing. And then since having had my baby, I've just been coming back and I guess trying to figure out where I am. Like, I don't know what I'm best at. Um, and I, I, I like it all. So, I, yeah, I, I know the range is pretty cool. Um, I'm really grateful that I've got that. But I guess I would like to figure out exactly what the sweet spot is um, mm -hmm. and try and get as best as I can at that. Because obviously, at some point, you know, I'm, I'm going to slow down. That's just what happens as we get older uh, over that shorter stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think when that happens, I'll, I'll focus more on road road racing or uh, longer stuff on the track, maybe 5,000, 10,000. Um, but, yeah, I haven't quite found the perfect spot just yet. So. Well, the I'm, having, community... I'm, having, I'm having lots of fun. I would just do park runs forever if I could. <laughs> Same here. Absolutely. I don't blame you. So I think the Pokemon community is going to be cheering you on because we do love our record holders like Charlotte Arter, who was a previous record holder. They they go into little park run folklore and they become one. They become a little bit special for us and the wider community in the growing community. Um, you mentioned that you were slowing a little bit there. And, and of course, a couple of years ago. Is this right me saying then, so if I get the maths right, that your slowest time at Park Run is at North Sydney, which was in October 2018, 23 minutes. Is that, I'm assuming, because going around with baby bump? <laughs> I was yeah. just wondering about that time. I thought yeah. so. That all lines up as to why that was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I was really pregnant then. Uh, I was quite, there's a picture of me doing that one, and I had a, a, big, a big baby bump. I also ran in Scotland when I was pregnant at the... Um, at one of the park runs, it was in Edinburgh, but it was not the Cram in Lock, one. Lock End one. Woods. Lock End Woods is the one, I believe. No, I did that one. Oh. I've done that one as well. That was post baby. Um, there is another one. Is it Musselboro or? No, okay, you may um, not have had your bar did you not have your barcode that morning? Maybe not, but I was also yeah. pregnant when I did that one. So, okay. uh, it was actually really sweet. So the Lock End one that you mentioned. That's actually in my hometown in Scotland. And okay. they sent me a message to say well done after Saturday, which I thought was really yeah. cool that they did that. So, yeah. It's, it's amazing how quick this news travels. I think I was informed on Twitter from somebody in Newey, in Newcastle, in Australia. So it wasn't even like a local event had happened. People had really? heard about it. Yeah, yeah, it came from other places. It just, it just fritters around, just goes out there so quickly. Can I bring up a photograph as well? Is that all right? We're just going to disappear yeah. and we're going to bring this photo up. This is the moment. I got this from, um, actually, going to take this banner <laughs> off because I need to make sure that I forgot about the, uh, there you go, from Parramatta Park Run. They got it. They got it on camera. That's the moment. <laughs> the moment you crossed the line. The moment you did it. And there you go. And just before that, you're looking, I don't know if you've seen these photographs at all, but they, they have a series of you coming up to the line and then crossing the line, etc. But you're smiling on the ones previous to that. You are smiling from ear to ear. So you must have known coming up to it that you were going to do it. Is that correct? No, it's not. No. <laughs> so, no? No, no. My smile and my grimace are really similar. Oh, similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, that explains and a few, that. People, a few people said that to me. They were like, oh, I saw you coming back on the last kilometer and you were smiling. And I was like, no. <laughs> when it I run, like it. and I'm, it's yeah. the same. My smile and my grimace, they're just this kind of similar, which is a bit unfortunate. But um, that photo that you just put up, mm -hmm. there's another one 
there's maybe like a second before or after and yep. the lady who's taking the time if mm -hmm. you have a look at the photo, her face is just brilliant. She's wide mouthed, wide eyed, oh, looking right. at the time, just going, <gasps> like she's going to make the that. time. Yeah, I'm going to go back and have a look. Yeah, someone pointed it out to me, and I can't unsee it. It's just the sweetest photo now when I look at it because you can just see that she's really excited. She must have been keeping the time, or or at least looking at it on on her phone. But um, yeah, I, I can reassure everybody that um. I wasn't smiling. I was in worlds of pain, and I, I, I hadn't looked at my watch, so I didn't know if I was on pace or if I was anywhere close to the time. I didn't look at my watch after looking at the first kilometer and just basically going, "Oh crap, I'm in so much trouble," because <laughs> I went out so fast. Which, yes, yes, which which, which, look, which look brings me over very nicely. So, so of course, your Strava says that it says two fifty, which is like fourteen ten pace, which is, and of course, we know it obviously slightly undulates, and everybody tends to go off really quickly. But where's that comments? We're getting loads of comments. Apologies to everybody with the comments coming in. I'm trying to keep on top, but we're getting a, a, a quite a larger audience than usual. I thought this might be the case, um, but I'm losing the comment. There we go. Ingrid Botha says the start video on the Parramatta page is pretty impressive too. So they have a video. I don't know if you've seen of the start. And people yeah. just absolutely zipping out as well. So we can absolutely understand as to you guys getting just dragged along to that. But it worked in a way. It helped. It did help in the end. You got the record. So that's all grand. Well, I think any race that's any race that's got a fast start, either because it's downhill or because there's a really good buzz and everyone's really excited. I think it sets you up for a good race. I think it sets you up for a fast race. Um, so long as you can kind of rein it in a little bit after that fast start so per like personally i i uh my general race uh tactic is to go out quite hard because i'm really stubborn and i'll always hold on at the end um it's perhaps not the smartest or most uh, uh best in a professional capacity and on the track it's, it's something that i'm working on but certainly for things like road running and park run i that's what works for me um and yeah, yeah. I, I knew that if I banked that time early and had kind of 10 or 20 seconds up my sleeve, when I hit the hills on the way back, I knew I uh, I had that time there to play with. So I, I, think it was, I think it worked well, but I do have to say 250 was a lot quicker than we expected. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't do my 1K it. training reps in 250s. Like that's not a wow. thing that I do. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, I've never got close to that, I don't believe. So it's, um, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I completely appreciate it. But the, as you said, the best quote of all time from a world champion runner, I'd just do park runs forever if I could, is that you can just go back. If you do go a bit fast at the beginning, you can just go back again the week after and you just try and try again. That's the beauty of it, the fact you can just practice this over and over and over again. Um, I think so. And like everyone that you go to, you always meet someone for a chat and there's always a bit of a hang around at, well, I mean, recently with coronavirus, it's been different, but generally and normally there's, you know, with people hanging around afterwards for a chat, and as, as we've mentioned, sometimes a cake. Um, but I like, I think it's great. I do some coaching and I also work with kids and getting them involved in something that's not intimidating and um, has that friendly vibe. It's, it's just really, I just think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Are you waiting for two years' time when Ruby can get her barcode for her to come and come with? Yeah, you yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Super brilliant. Yeah. That's she's amazing. Done, she's done a few in the pram already, but yeah. Okay. Excellent. And Tony Mallion says, I've just entered the same age uh, category as Lauren. Thank you for being a role model for people my age. There's still hope for me yet. There you go. So you're inspiring left people, left, right and centre. Uh, there's Brilliant. just so many comments, so many comments. I I need to, I should have had, uh, I should have known we'd get quite an audience and loads of comments coming in. I should have had someone help me and, and assist me. So my um, co-presenter on the podcast is watching, Nicola Forward. Hello there. Hooray to no negative splits. You're my kind of runner. Go hard and <laughs> hang on in there, she says. <laughs> All the way <laughs> All the there way. Absolutely. And then uh, Stuart Brownwood says, try to work out what point on the Prince's Park Run course Lauren would lap me. But it depends on your pace, doesn't it, Stuart? Who knows? It depends what time you're running in the morning. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, thank you very much. I mean, is there anything else you wanted to say or give a shout out to? Because, I mean, you're going to you're gonna be a, a legend. And actually, fingers crossed, what happens if it goes to someone else this Saturday? Is, that, is there a fear there? I was there? thinking that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, there's totally a fear. It's like, oh, this could be really short-lived. But 
and I, I think I think that it might that, that might happen, of course. But um, in Australia at the moment, I don't I don't think so because we're kind of in the middle of track season. So it was a little bit unusual that I went out and did that park run. Um, yeah given where we're at in our season. So yeah. in Australia, I'm like, I'm hoping that I'm safe. Um, but there are like definitely girls at the moment who could run quicker than me, <laughs> I think, uh, on the well, road in Australia. I, we yeah, and then the someone said to me, well, you're safe in the UK, which is obviously really sad, but uh, yeah. selfishly, it means I might get it for a little bit longer. Um, yeah. But you know, look, if it goes on Saturday, I am so competitive and so stubborn. I'll just go out and do it again. So, <laughs> I keep doing it. We'll be I'm cheering doing one you this on. Saturday. Are you doing it again this Saturday? But um, yeah, but I, I'm not not a super not fast good. one. But yeah, yeah, I'm doing the girl curl one. Um, okay. We're moving house on Saturday morning. The truck comes at ten o'clock. So I said to my husband, oh, "I've got time for one more park run before." <laughs> the- <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty dedicated. I'm very impressed with that. Because you were speaking to your coach beforehand. It's the coach who is your, he's been encouraging to go out and blast, and he encouraged you to go out and blast that park run. Is that correct? No, no, he didn't know I was doing it. So I had a little bit of explaining to do, actually. Um, <laughs> That's not so, unusual. We know we know across the world that as many coaches aren't <laughs> super keen for their athletes to go out and give, give a good old blast. But you it's go not down the first time. History. I'm not, it's not the first time I've been told off for going off to do my um, community park runs, but it doesn't stop me. I still do it anyway. <laughs> I, I like that. Thank you very much, Sarah. That, you're, you're my kind of girl. Thank you very much, Sarah, indeed. Well, brilliant. Well, I mean, it's such a super busy time for you at the moment. All the attention is coming in for this running. You're having to move house, obviously training really hard. So I need to say a massive thank you for giving me your time and trying to That's arrange okay. it so- so quickly after the fact that you did this um have you been contacted by other people for interviews and chats i'm sure we won't be the last yeah i've just done two already today and got another one after this one um i think it's with a podcast a parkrun podcast in the uk i haven't actually three three weekly times yeah yeah so yeah there are a few lined up i'm also racing in the morning so i'm gonna um do this one with you guys and then one more and then I'm going to bed because I have to get up and race. Um, it's Australia Day tomorrow in Australia and they have yes. this um, invitational 5k race on every, uh, it's actually normally a 10k race but they put on a 5 tomorrow so I uh, travel as my legs are still absolutely stuffed from Saturday so I don't know how I'm going to go. I've been wow. desperately okay. trying to uh, get them to feel better but they still hurt from Saturday so I'll give it a shot tomorrow and see how we go. Okay so, so um, yeah like you say Australia Day that was mentioned over the weekend by somebody as well so yes yeah, hopefully it's a wonderful occasion um, as you say it's a silly silver lining that the record should stand because it's not going to be threatened by the UK for a while because of lockdown but because you're Scottish you have that British element we're kind of taking ownership of you over here you're one of us Do really. Yeah. You're, 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 you're on you're on loan to Australia. It's a British record, really. <laughs> That's what it really is. Yeah, <laughs> but let's call it that. Yeah. Okay, super. Well, thank you very much once again. Um, please hang My with pleasure. me afterwards. Um, when we end the broadcast, I'll have a little chat with you afterwards. But again, all the very best for the future. Have a wonderful race tomorrow. And uh, hopefully it's not too much in the legs. And have a wonderful park running. And hope your house move goes really well. And uh, yeah. Thank um, you. Uh, it's worth having a quick look through, look through the comments on our Facebook and YouTube channel because there's a lot of love for you out there too. So. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. I feel overwhelmed with all the support. I like I like to just be a bit of a dark horse that keeps my head down and gets on with it. So it's been so lovely to have all this love and support. So thank you very much. You're, it's been a shining light in a dark park run time for us. So, yeah, hugely oh, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Okay. Hang in there. We'll get out of this. Okay, take care, everyone. Thank you very much. Bye now. I've got to go. <laughs> I've got to go and warm up. My feet are freezing. <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye.